So we're currently down in Oceanville and we've made it all the way across here, around this, follow the road. And now we're going to go through all of these houses and then try and get over to some other island. I think over here, this is a pretty big one. Uh, this is going to be Stonington or like, well, a few other small ones. But uh, we do have an airfield here, so we could potentially make it all the way over here and, uh, well, check out this place. that one. Oh, wow. That's a big hiking backpack. I've never seen this before, but I will definitely switch it out. Dry bag backpack. You weren't with us for long, but, uh, well, you did the job. Monghard's hiking backpack. I have never seen this before. I don't know if it's just on this server, but, uh, that is a very good find. I will take that for sure. That is actually another one. That is pink though, so we're not going to take it, but that's actually the same as we just found. Oh, wow. Wait, really? I will keep the green one, even though we got a blue here. Um, probably going to be a little bit more camouflage for the future, so... Here we got some blueprints. Someone is uh, definitely extending their... Uh, Oh, well, they're, they're about to build something, at least. I have no idea what. Oh, what the hell is this? Sharp and deadly replica of a medieval sword. What? <gasps> hey, I gotta keep this. There is no way I'm getting rid of that. There is no freaking way. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a very good weapon. Yeah, yeah. All right. starting to get really bad weather at the moment and we don't really have anywhere to stay i mean we're obviously in a house right now but we definitely do need food as you can see we're running pretty low and we have nothing to eat at the moment so what i think we'll do is maybe go out just a little bit and try and look for food or we just stay here until this passes because we're gonna get very very wet So, the weather is a lot better now, so we're gonna continue. Now, we are running a little bit low on food, as I said. So, we could maybe go out and try and kill, well, some kind of animal, cut it up, and uh, then just make a fire and cook some meat up. That's gonna be very, very necessary. In a bit. We can, we can manage a few hours. is this guy this is a pig but I, I I can't see it I don't want to scare it away either and this is weird I like this bridge though this looks amazing oh 
there it is. We need to get this one. And now I'm actually going to try this. Okay. The accuracy, not the best. Okay, let's see again. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's running away. Too far. Okay, a little bit of a delay on that one. Hopefully that's not going to attract too many. Either way, we got it. Now we just got to make our way down. So let me find a good way here. Gonna cut that one up. And uh, that's going to give us, well, a little bit of meat. Oh, shit, that's another one. I'm just going to let you run. We don't need to. I'm just going to pick up this uh, arrow. There we go. And then we're going to skin the other one. I can hear at least one zombie. I think it's above us, though. So, we yeah, let's do this here. So we got a total of eight steaks. That is definitely more than we need at the moment, but I mean, we're gonna cook up, cook up everything. And uh, then we're gonna save a little bit. So as I said, I did hear a zombie up here to the left. I don't know where he went though, but this is some kind of like, I don't know, I like this place. A little bit sketchy, but um, yeah, that works. So we're coming down here. Uh, yeah, we're all the way down here right now. So we're going to see if we can make a fire somewhere and um, cook up the meat. Ooh, hold on. A keycard used to grant access to locked level 1 areas around the map. That is the first key card that I've collected. Uh, I've never played with this before. I've never found a key card ever. So there's going to be so many new things on this server that we're going to be doing. And I'm honestly so excited for everything. Damn, you don't even know how excited I am. We, um, wow, I'm in for a treat. You guys have probably seen all of this that I'm doing a bunch of times. But a hey, first time for me. So I'm probably going to enjoy it much more than you guys are. Either way, let's make a fire and uh, cook up some meat. Oh! Hold on. Hold on, that's a, that's a heli crash. Wait a minute, we, we gotta go for that. That's what we heard in the last... In the last part as well, and we didn't go for it. So, that crashed very close. And you guys said there can be some very, very good loot from it. I don't know exactly where that was, but... It was somewhere over here. I think I have to go for that. It did sound like it was kind of far away. But at the same time, maybe close enough for us to get it. So, you guys said that I should look for smoke. But I don't see that anywhere. I think it's going to be maybe over this hill. And that is a very, very long way from here. I mean, our stats are looking good enough for us to run a little bit. So, let's actually get ourselves over to that one. See if we see some smoke over there. There is some gunshots, actually. I think the heli crash is somewhere over here. Although, if it's if it's gunshots already, then someone else has already been there. Or someone is already there. Taking the loot. Probably killing the zombies that are guarding it. Yeah, most likely. Alright, well, I think we're gonna give up on that one. Sounds like it's a long way over there. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's keep that one. But at least now we know what it is. So, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully get the next one. Either way, we'll take this house instead. Make a make a fire. Huh, I just realized we can place the sword in the backpack here, as well as the first aid kit and just so many other things as well. Holy shit. Maybe I could have placed waterproof bag, the, you know the red one? Oh! Holy shit! Uh, okay, wait, how do, I, how do I do this? Um, wait, where is Push to Talk? Oh shit, sorry bro. Hey, do you need anything? Ah, 
press uh press Z. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Here man. Take uh take these. Start yourself a fire. Wait, that is awesome. Oh shit. I should keep you sustained for a little bit anyways. Take it easy, bro. If you need anything, I'm over like a uh, thousand meters that way, roughly. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's just, awesome. Uh, hit me up in chat. Oh, hey, well, wait a minute. Okay, now I just figured it out. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. Hey, <laughs> nice, dude. Hey, oh, but yeah. dude, hey, thank you so much for that. Hey. I, I appreciate it. I, I'm just making a fire inside the house. I just got a bunch of raw meat, so I'm going to cook it up a little bit. Right on, man. Yeah, not a problem. Here, uh, in case you come across the uh, fishing rod or something, you could fish up some more food with that, too. Oh, wow. Hey, wow, you're generous. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Have an awesome rest of the day, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you as well. Take it easy, man. See ya. Oh, wow. That's a nice dude. He just gave me so much stuff. All right. Well, that was awesome. I got matches. And, uh... Dude, I can't believe I... I kind of... I kind of... <laughs> he just came running. I thought I, I thought that was, was going to be a zombie first. So I was a little bit confused. But, um... Okay, well, that works. Alright, so we just cooked up everything. As you can see, we got a bunch of food now. So we're completely good to go. We also, uh, this one is also filled up with water. And, uh, well, we do got a bunch of fishing stuff now. So we got a spinnerbait, we got a metal hook and, and bobber, and then another fishing lure. We're together with, I've made three of the uh, uh, bone fishing hooks. So that's something that I do want to try in the near future. But uh, for now, I think we're fine. So we got food, water, we have, uh, well, we're looking good so far, and uh, the journey continues. So we're gonna be uh, running all the all the way over here, and uh, we'll see what this uh, small island, actually this big island, has to offer. Oh, you're building? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, well, good luck, buddy. Huh, I'm, I'm guessing he's building, at least. I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna leave all of this to him, then. I'm guessing he's looted uh, as well, so... Alright, we'll keep going. Yeah. Nothing. So we got... Okay, this is a little bit of a bigger building. Maybe we can find something useful in here. Oh, that's a camo nuts. I don't think that we're allowed to take stuff like this away, though. If I remember the rules correctly. Oh yeah, as you can see, that's gonna be a car. That's gonna be a very another very big car, probably like a four wheeler. And this should be a base then, because well, yeah, that's a car. Oh, okay, yeah, this one has a password. All right, so that that is someone's. I thought this might have spawned here, so I was thinking maybe I <laughs> get back and take it, but. No, that's not gonna be a that's not gonna be a thing. And all of these ones are probably owned by other people as well. I'm guessing at least so. Alright, well, we'll keep moving. Here we're actually coming up to some military tents. I mean I'm guessing they have most likely already been looted, but you never know. Someone might have left something. Something valuable for us. Now, one thing that we do need to get, like that we need to find some other stuff, is a jacket and pants. See, they are not very good. Uh, we can barely hold anything in them, so that's definitely going to be the next upgrade, hopefully, at least. Ooh, what? That's an M4. Okay. What ammo do we need? 556.45. Okay, that's a car. Hello. Well, I mean, we can't really use this one right now, but I'll definitely, definitely keep it. We don't have a mag for it either. Damn. Okay, not good. So we don't have a mag, we don't have any bullets. But, um, ah, dude, we can barely, we can barely hold it either. Damn. That's a mag, but that's for the Vega shotgun. I mean, since we... I'm gonna keep it for now, we're probably gonna just gonna throw it away later, but we'll keep the M4 with us as well, because you never know. Until we really, really have to, you know, let it go. We'll, uh, we'll keep it with us. So, we just found a purple fish knife. A knife that was built for fish. I don't know if that's a good find or not. I'll keep it, but <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments. 
That's a BK-12. Hmm, you know what? That could actually be kind of useful. At the same time, I don't like these ones. I really don't. I think I might just skip it. As much as I like the crossbow, I don't think it's worth keeping it because it's very, like, inaccurate. And I don't think it's going to be that good either way. So I, we're probably just going to keep the BK-12 and uh, drop the bolts that we've made. We actually made them with some feathers as well. I spent a lot of time doing that, so dude, this one hurts. But uh, since we have so much ammo for it, we um, we got to keep this one. And I'm also going to leave the, uh, the bats. We'll take that up another time and make Lucille. Alright, we're coming up to a little bit of a bigger town here. That's, this is going to be Cushville. Alright, and then we're going to... I think we're going to go all the way down. Just so we can get some good stuff. I'm guessing most people are going to spawn. Because this is as, uh, as uh, south we can possibly be. So once we've been through pretty much all of this, we might, you know, get up here. Oh, whoa. Someone killed someone outside of the um, PvP zone. Oh, shit. That's not good. Now, if you do kill someone outside of the safe zone, uh, outside of the PvP zones, you will get. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but you will get pretty much a icon. I think that might be this icon. So they are now. It's always going to show on the map where they are if they killed someone outside the zones. Maybe, and you know people can hunt them down because they broke the rules. I love the fact that they've made all of these trash piles and everything in the cities, like uh, where there where there would be a lot of people before. And like, look at this shit. This looks amazing. Completely overgrown. I'm a big fan of this. Man, look at this. This is amazing. I mean, it looks terrible, but it's it just looks amazing at the same time. Okay, if I ever find the Swedish flag, I'm gonna be the happiest man alive. That would be amazing. Imagine that. Okay, that is some chips. I think that might be the first food that we find. Oh, well, look at that. That's another player. Holy. Well, good afternoon. How you doing, bud? Hey, hi. You good? Got the uh, area work? No, no area one. Just a uh, level one access card. Okay, I don't know what those guys are doing, but, uh... Why me? What's your name, bud? Uh, my name is Torak. What's your name? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, my name is uh, uh, Fanor on the server. Alright, well, good to meet you. I've only come across some very, very nice people so far. This uh, server seems to be a really good one. Yeah, did you maybe, cool. did you maybe find a, a level one access card? That you were traveling here. Uh, no, this is the first time I'm in here. I just started playing like a few hours ago on the server, so I'm uh, very new. Ah, cool. So there's no PvP except in PvP zones, so players tend to be friendly. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. That's uh, that's one thing that I really like about this server, actually. Uh, have this uh, shotgun and uh, box gun. Oh, that I can. Not friendly. I can take it. Yeah, it's all yours, man. Hey, thank you for that. I appreciate it, man. No problem. That's actually going to be a pretty like a little bit of an upgrade. So, well, I'll take that. 
So where are you guys headed? We're waiting on a pickup. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going here. So have a good rest of your day, and maybe I'll see you around. Yes, yeah, see you around. Man. Bye. Take care. Bye. All right. Well, dude, there's some nice people here. I like it. Now, obviously, this is as they said, and as you guys know, this is only PVE unless you're in a PVP zone. So everyone is very friendly, and I do like that. Some good interactions. This is awesome. And yes, I know what you guys are gonna say. I do have a key card, and I think I actually had the key card that we're looking for, level one. Now I don't know how valuable this is, so I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna like trade it away, and get scammed for it. So please let me know in the comments if this is super super valuable or not. Um, if it is, then well, it would be very good to know. Well, damn. Probably just shooting a bunch of zombies. Either way, we have now checked out the whole of uh, Kushville. So we could actually go down here to the water. And then we'll uh, head down here. And all the way down to um, Stonington. Well, we just found... <laughs> Looks pretty cool, actually. A scorpion helmet. I'll, I'll guess I'll switch that one. I didn't take this before because I thought it was going to affect the screen like it is in official. You know, you can barely see in these ones, but... Apparently, here we can wear it without it affecting us. The view, so yeah, I'll take this one, definitely. That is going to be a hatchet, which we need to cut down some trees whenever we're going to build a base. We're starting to... Uh, I'm going to start trying to save up as much of this stuff for the base as I possibly can. I don't exactly know what it is that we need to build a base, but I'll figure that out. And, uh, well, eventually, hopefully, we'll, we'll have everything so that we can build it. Yeah, that's those people that we were talking to uh, before. Oh, wait a minute. They have a... They have a car. They got boats. Holy shit. Okay, these guys... <laughs> Damn. That looks pretty good. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother them. Um, but hey, damn. That is... <laughs> that's pretty cool. Maybe we can get a boat one day. Well, the weather is getting pretty bad, so probably gonna start to rain soon, so we need to find shelter somewhere. Yep, here comes the rain. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Trade mach Food trader. Okay, I had no idea this even existed in the game. Well, I have zero... <laughs> money so we can't buy anything unfortunately now can i sell anything i don't think so either way that's good to know that that exists at least and oh wow we got even more stuff here so is this gonna be just a bunch of random stuff hunting trader ammunition trader bank menu and clothing trader dude that is awesome and medical trader. I had no idea this uh, <laughs> this is how it worked, but that's good. Okay, we got some water here as well. Yeah, we're gonna stay under here until we um, move on. So that's the bank menu where we can actually take out money and like put in money and stuff. Uh, that is, <laughs> damn. Uh, I I need to you know read up a little bit on stuff like this before I use it. But honestly, did not expect this to be in the game. Pretty cool. So yeah, let's, let's just stay here until the weather has passed and uh, then we'll continue. We actually did find another axe. So this is going to be a splitting axe. This one is so much better than the other one at cutting wood. So this is the one that we're going to keep for when we're building the base. It's looking pretty good when it comes to the setup so far. Obviously, if we can find a bunch 
better clothes, for example, a, um, a shirt and some pants. They can't really hold much, as we said before, but, uh, you know, it, it's what we have right now, and that's what we're gonna have to use. Okay, so it's starting to rain once again. It stopped for a little bit, but, uh, that was coming down again. Okay, we're gonna run in here. I think this is gonna be a good place to end this episode. It's really bad weather. We can't really continue because we're gonna be so wet and, um, we're gonna be very, very cold. And it's also getting a little bit late. I think it's like 5 p.m., almost 6 p.m., so the sun is gonna go down in just an hour or two. So this is where we're gonna stay throughout the night and then we'll continue another day. So uh, the journey today, well, we did upgrade our inventory quite a bit. Found the sword, got a new gun, and uh, well, it's looking really, really good. This one as well is super, super nice. But yeah, we're gonna continue in the next one and we're gonna be searching through, well, we're gonna go first through the Asheville and then we're gonna come down to Stonington. And we're gonna try and get a really good uh, gear going from, um, from everything that we're gonna loot. So if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.